What we'll do is we'll have a look at these labels uh, that are connected to objects and to subjects and we'll make a change to our web server that will leave us with a dysfunctional web server. We'll focus on the capital Z option for the ls, ps and ls of command to disclose the labels of files, processes and ports. And we will use se alert to find out why our web server isn't functioning anymore. So I'm logged in as root and first I want to know where I can find the HTTPD binary. And then I run the ls-l capital Z option to uh, look into this label. So there's quite some information in this label, but what I'm interested in is this HTTPD underscore exec underscore t, which is the context type. The other information we'll deal with later. Now I run the same command, but now for the HTTPD configuration file. And again, we see that it's HTTPD underscore config underscore T, which means that it belongs to the same domain. So basically this goes for all files that have to do with HTTPD, like the log files, for example. They also belong to this domain. Now let's find out whether our web server is running and what port it's using. That will give us quite some output. So we just filter on whether it's active and what the port would be. And we see it's up and running and it's listening to port 80. And when we check the running processes, we see that the context type of all of these daemons is httpd underscore t, as we expected. And when we use list open files to check our ports and filter on httpd, we see that httpd is listening on port 80. And again, the context type is what we expected. Now let's change the port to which our web server listens, so to which it will have to connect in order to be able to listen. So we check the configuration file and we could change that using an editor, but I'm going to use uh, SED and I will change the port from 80 to 8888. And then we'll see what happens when we restart our web server. So we've changed the port and we're going to run systemctl restart httpd and we get an error message. Now we could have a look at this journal CTL or simply run system CTL status. And to avoid too much output, we simply grab on uh, the interesting fields like whether it's active and running or not, and whether it's listening and to what port. And also I want to see whether port 8888 comes up in this output. So it tells us that it failed to start and uh, there was a permission denied to create a socket because it could not bind to port 8888 and no listening sockets are available so it's shutting down again. Now this information is all from the perspective of the web server but SE Linux has blocked it so let's uh, take a look at the SE Linux uh, log output why it has blocked it. So there's a command which is called se alert and we'll look at that a little bit more later on but that will give us some information from the perspective of SE Linux. So it not only tells us that it has prevented uh, the web server from connecting to that port, but it also advises us to run the se manage command to add this port to the equation so that the web server will be able to connect to port 8888. And in this last line, we can very nicely see that the web server's context type does not match the context type of that port because that's of the unreserved port type. Now let's re-establish the original situation by changing the port from 8888 to 80 again in the configuration file of HTTPD. And after we did that, we can try and restart the service. And now the service will be up and running again, so our web server is fine. And if you like, you can pause the video and have a look at the commands once more. And in the next module, we'll have a look at the states as a Linux can be in and what modes there are, as well as the possibility of types. So basically, this is on how you can configure it. And we will see that most packages are installed by default, but some are not.